because I come from a patient and forgiving culture. I think it is proper for us to accept the apology from the government of Canada. Love you, sister. I love you. I accept your apology on behalf of the residential school survivors, even though some may not want me to. It was an emotional day for many present to witness the federal apology. Today, I humbly stand before you to offer a long overdue apology to the former students of the Lockwood School in Cartwright, the Makovic Boarding School, the Nain Boarding School, the St. Anthony Orphanage and Boarding School, and the Yale School in Newfoundland and Labrador on behalf of the Government of Canada and all Canadians. Trudeau's apology offered some reprieve from their suffering. I could see, see in his eyes that he was sincere about what he said. You know, it wasn't like a lot of times governments say things because they have to say it, but he, he said it and he meant it. You know, and that, that means all the world to me. James Tutauk said he too appreciated Trudeau's apology and that it will help him on his healing journey. It's, it's starting to come full circle, come to an end. Uh, th there's still a bit of a journey for us to heal, uh, you know, better. But, uh, you know, I feel great right now. Uh, a lot of the negative, like I said, the aspects of, you know, waiting for the apology and, uh, you know, dealing nearly 10 years with Harper and getting nowhere and uh, with Prime Minister Trudeau come in. It's, it's great, it was quick. Uh, you know, he said at least as quick as possible and this is what we wanted and uh, I can carry on in my life in a better, a with a positive attitude. We know today that this colonial way of thinking led to practices that caused deep harm. While Trudeau acknowledged the role colonialism played in Canada's past, he didn't acknowledge what many in Labrador regard as ongoing colonial practices. The Innu Nation boycotted the apology, they say, because the federal government isn't doing enough to help address their child welfare crisis. And Innu and Inuit land protectors have said the Muskrat Falls hydro dam threatens their food and way of life. This is a step, a big step, but it's a step in a long journey towards reconciliation and that is exactly what we are embarked upon. There's uh, many concerns about uh, children in foster care now and uh, how we need to do better by them. There's concerns around uh, respect for land and culture and languages, uh, things that this government hears and knows and is working very, very hard on. Trudeau also deferred primary responsibility for Inu children in Muskrat Falls to the provincial government. While some will find solace in the Prime Minister's apology, Others will continue the fight for their children, land, and way of life. Justin Brake, APTN National News, Happy Valley Goose Bay, Labrador.